Welcome to the second uh, beta video for the new big version uh, 3.0. In this video, I want to talk about a new feature we added in the beta uh, for 3.0 called tagging. And uh, tagging is, if you're familiar with labeling and other systems, it's the ability to just define a tag and then kind of attach that to any configuration object in, in the product and then easily through the UI filter on that. So you're probably familiar with in other products like kind of that version of tagging, just a way to organize uh, different configuration. Right. In, in high byte, tagging can be used for that, and it is used for that, but it's also used in our pretty heavily in our central configuration, and I'll kind of explain uh, that in more detail. But basically, a lot of our customers, uh, if you're not familiar with central configuration, it's a way to configure high byte so a central high byte node can be used to, to centrally configure a bunch of remote nodes. And those remote nodes can spin up and connect, and they can run headless themselves, like not host their own configuration. But centrally, you can kind of tunnel through and view and manage the configuration of those remote hubs. And currently in this demo, I, I kind of have that set up already. Uh, I've got two, two instances of high byte running out of the console on different ports. Uh, one's on 45, 245, which is my central, what I'm calling my central host. And then the other one's just a remote runtime on 40, um, 5, 246. And I think there's other videos on YouTube of how to set this up. It was a feature we added back in 2.0. But once I've done it, right, I've got, uh, if you look at the hubs view centrally, I've created a group. I've just labeled that group group by use case, called it OEE. And if you look in here, I actually have a hub connected, which I've called Portland, and it has a, a client identifier. But this is the other hub, the 45246, connected in centrally. And once that's set up, what I can do is I can choose which hub I want to configure. So I can say, hey, Portland, and I can jump around. And this is the same as if I just opened up port 45246, and we're configuring it directly. I can configure it kind of through this proxy. Uh, and again, 45246 could not be hosting a configuration at all. So I, I, I could have it set up to not even be able to access this, and I can only access it through uh, the central hub. So this is a really cool feature we added back in 2.0. Uh, customers that put a lot of high byte instances at a site or want some way to, to, to uh, help with configuration and maintenance of those instances, uh, this is a really cool way to do that. And we have a lot of customers using it. The, the problem with it is that uh, a lot of our customers move towards use case-based deployment. So what does that mean? It means centrally, um, let me go back to the central hub. They might have like an OEE use case that has some models and connections and flows associated with it. They might have a scrap reduction use case. So they end up being, think of these use cases almost like projects, right? And what happens today in central config is if you wanted, if your use case-based deployments, your central configuration, Dave, basically needs to be an aggregate of all your configurations for all your different deployments, which becomes pretty unwieldy, right? It's not really easy to manage when you just see a bunch of connections and they, they range across deployments. So our solution for this was to use the concept of tagging. So what I have set up here is I have basically two use cases. I have a um, OEE use case and what I'll call a scrap reduction use case. And I've created two tags for those, right? And tags of today are nothing but you know a name and a, and a description. And then I also have a third use case, which isn't really a use case. It's more of just another classification of cloud, which means I want to be able to manage and see my cloud connections separately. And then what I've done is I've gone through you know, my basic project here. And for each one of my connections and instances and models, I've tagged it under the use case that it belongs to. Now, what's cool about that is once I've done that, now in the central configuration, I can, and this is probably the part of tagging you're most familiar with from other products, I can quickly just say, hey, show me everything that's OEE. Right, and now I'm filtering the UI based on OEE, and I'm only seeing models and instances related to my OEE use case, which is pretty cool. And if I create a you know a new thing and I want to bring it in there, I can just kind of pull down, go into that configuration, and pull down and add add this. Now it's a little painful in the beta if you already have a large project to go through and add the tags. We do have a plan um, inside the tagging view. You can go to OEE today as an example and look at everything that's tagged OEE. Inside this view, we'll have like a more power user way to bring other assets and con configuration into this tag. Uh, so that's an enhancement that's that's coming. Or I can, uh, so I can say, show me the cloud connectors and just the, the AWS S3 connector will show up, right? So I can kind of easily filter this almost like a project view, but a little more flexible, right? Because you can tag things multiple tags. So. AWS S3 is used in cloud and the scrap production use case. So I can filter, I can have multiple filters or a single filter. It gives me more flexibility. So this makes it easy centrally to kind of jump around and manage these separate, uh, let's call them projects, but use cases. 
pretty dynamically. Where it gets really interesting and powerful is when you start to use it with the central configuration that I just mentioned. So now when I go to, uh, synchronize, to synchronize, so central config, you can synchronize entire projects or parts of projects uh, out to remote hubs. So in this case, this remote hub in Portland has no configuration. Now what I can do is select that Portland remote hub and rather than go in and, and individually pick all the connections that I think are models, etc., I can just say sync everything with a tag. And the list of all the tag things in my central config come up and I can deselect these if I don't, if I want, like maybe the instance that the site is different or map differently, I don't want to sync that. But for now, I'll just sync everything. And you'll see that succeeds. I can also compare on tag, right? So I could select Portland and say, hey, did, did anything change out with respect to the OE use case? And I'll see there's no differences. And now I can remote into the Portland hub and I can see uh, the filter, right? So I can I could filter on the tag as well, but in this case, it's the only use case that's deployed out there. So I can see that my models, my instances, my flows for that use case uh, were sent out. And then, for example, if I, let's just say I updated a description or something pretty trivial, and I go back to the host, uh, let me go to sync, and I'll do a compare on the tag. Uh, so let's go back to tags. I'm gonna compare to see, hey, did anything change at the remote site uh, with respect to this use case? And you'll see, yeah, there is a difference, and it looks like somebody updated the description, right? So, so tagging is a—it's a generic concept in HiBy, but when we couple it with our central configuration, it allows you to really easily uh, start to manage mul almost like multiple project or use cases inside a single project and synchronize that out to remote sites by use case, which is really where we see a lot of our customers headed, which is kind of these use case-based deployments of HiBy and being able to manage those. Now, where is this heading? So a lot of this is still manual today, right? And in the, the 3.0 release, we probably won't go here, but what we're thinking is, you know, inside of the hubs configuration uh, in the central mode, you'd be able to like more generically define this and start to assign. Uh, so this is my OEE group, which is a little confusing because I named the tag the same thing, but some kind of automation in here. So we could say, hey, once a day, take the OEE use take the OEE use case tag centrally and go synchronize that out to the remote site or synchronize part of it. Uh, the other thing we want to do is if you're familiar with system variables, right, what you could have is you could have a connection to OPC with an IP address to find like, um, and I forget the syntax, but you could put a reference in here like OPC uh, IP address, right? And so suddenly this, this uh, IP address is defined dynamically. And then back in the hubs configuration, you could manage like uh, development, production, and QA instances by assigning, for this hub, I'm gonna assign those variables to this, you know, to this IP address for development and QA and testing, as well as uh, synchronize that use case on a daily basis or some kind of automation. So some way, looking at enhancements through this hub view where you have mul you know, multiple hubs organized by a use case or groups, to be able to synchronize configuration out to those hubs easily on change and also send out overrides. So like specific sites, you could override certain settings uh, generically. But anyway, check out tagging. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature. It's really flexible. Uh, so try it out in the beta and let us know what you think.